Welcome to New Zealand's acclaimed adventure capital. Snuggled into the shoreline of Lake Waikatipu and towered over by vast mountain peaks, Queenstown is completely devoted to tourism and offers up a ridiculous amount of ways for travellers to get their adrenaline thrills. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 things to see and do in Queenstown. And just wait till you see the number 2 that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Now before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel by pressing the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So now let's cut to the chase. At 10, Queenstown Gardens. This large botanic garden area sits right on the shore of Lake Wakatipu and is a great place to stroll and admire the lake views. The gardens were originally laid out in 1867 and now contain a vast array of both native and international plant species, including a large sweep of Douglas fir trees, which provide shady retreats on a scorching hot Otago summer day. The gardens are most famous for their historic oak and fir trees, which were planted by Queenstown's first mayor in 1866. There is also a lovely rose garden here and a restored band rotunda dating from 1891. At 9, Lake Wanaka. Lake Wanaka is a gorgeous sweep of blue set amid tussock covered hills and overlooked by the dramatic craggy peaks of Mount Aspiring National Park. The little town of Wanaka, located on the lake shore, 67 kilometres northeast of Queenstown, is a quieter tourist destination than Queenstown and is home to many artists who show their work in a range of galleries in town, as well as local retirees, drawn here for the peaceful atmosphere and lovely natural setting. Fishing, recreational boating and swimming are the main activities for travellers, although with Mount Aspiring National Park on the doorstep and numerous day walk trails in the area, Wanaka is a major base for trekkers, hikers and sightseers too. Next up at 8, the home of bungee jumping. If you were to only ever experience a single bungee jump in your life, Queenstown would be the best place to do it. Really? Queenstown's AJ Hackett Bungie is the company that first started this worldwide adrenaline craze, and their Kawarau Bridge bungee jumping experience is the original location where it all began back in 1988. The 43 meter jump is on a platform on the historic suspension bridge itself, which was built over the Kawarau Gorge with the Kawarau River below in 1880. For further thrills, you can also bungee jump from the Nevis Point location. At 134 metres above the Nevis River, the Queenstown Nevis High Wire bungee jump is the highest bungee in New Zealand and the world's third highest. This tour option includes round-trip transportation plus a free t-shirt to show your friends you made the jump. Good luck with that one! At 7, Coronet Peak Ski Area. Queenstown's other major winter ski destination is the 1649 meter tall Coronet Peak, which like the Remarkables, offers superlative facilities for skiers. This ski resort really comes into its own though for more experienced ski enthusiasts, offering a variety of excellent trails plus the opportunity to night ski. With the resort's first tracks pass, early birds have the chance to ski in the morning before the chairlifts are officially open and the crowds arrive. A word of caution. Both night skiing and first tracks need to be booked in advance. During the ski season, which runs approximately from June to September, regular shuttle bus services run between the resort and Queenstown. I thought the word of caution was uh, stay off the slopes. At 6, Skyline Queenstown. The countryside surrounding Queenstown is full of magnificent mountain views, but you don't have to travel out of town to take in some of the top sightseeing opportunities and scenic panoramas. The skyline Queenstown gondola, right in town, offers incredible vistas over the city. Lake Wakatipu and the jagged peaks of the Remarkables beyond as it journeys up to the 446 metre high summit of Bob's Peak. The cable car is known for being the steepest in the Southern Hemisphere and at the top, a number of lookout platforms and an excellent restaurant offer more of those views to soak up, an especially fun thing to do at night in Queenstown. Other fun attractions here include a go-kart like Loge Experience, mountain biking trails, stargazing, plus of course, the inevitable shopping. At 
At five, skiing in the Remarkables. The ski resort sitting on the north-facing slopes of the mountain range known as the Remarkables, about 28 kilometres from Queenstown, is one of New Zealand's best-loved winter fun destinations. Excellent for learners as well as experienced skiers, the Remarkables boasts world-class ultra-modern ski facilities that have made it extremely popular with European skiers during the Northern Hemisphere's summer. Non-skiers are also catered to with a thrilling tobogganing experience. I have no words. The ski season usually lasts from June to September and frequent shuttle bus services run to the slopes from Queenstown throughout the season. At four, jet boating on the Shotover River. The 75 kilometer Shotover River first found fame during the Otago Gold Rush. These days, however, it's better known as home to one of Queenstown's most popular tourist attractions, the Shotover Jet, which is the only company allowed to operate amid the narrow canyon section of the waterway. This thrilling breakneck speed journey down the narrow river, hemmed in by dramatic canyon cliffs, is often described as the world's most exciting jet boat ride and is one of Queenstown's longest running adventure activities, having been in operation since 1965. At three, Skipper's Canyon. One of the most scenic journeys you can take in the Queenstown area is the drive through Skipper's Canyon, about 20 kilometers north of Queenstown. This 22 kilometer long canyon now leads to Coronet Peak, but was once home to thousands of prospectors after gold was discovered in 1892 in the Shotover River, which winds through the gorge. Today, the winding and narrow road through the canyon, known as Skipper's Canyon Road, often shortened to just Skipper's Road, is bordered by breathtakingly vertical drops on one side and high cliffs on the other. This dramatic scenery makes for an incredibly beautiful road trip and traversing the high suspension bridge known as Skipper's Bridge, built in 1901, is a major highlight along the way. Although private cars are allowed along the road, self-drivers should be aware that rental companies will not give out insurance for travelling this route, and so it is much easier and more sensible to take one of my many Skipper's Canyon tours. A great option is the Skipper's Canyon four-wheel drive tour from Queenstown, a half-day adventure including hotel pickup and a stop for a delicious cream tea along the way. At two, Cruise aboard the TSS Ernslaw. One lovely old relic of the Gold Rush days is still in use, the TSS Ernslaw. Now in service as a cruise ship, this classic old steamer, she was built in 1912 and is the oldest still operating passenger steamship in the Southern Hemisphere, offers excellent 90-minute scenic cruises on Lake Wakatipu. It's a great experience, with the occasional whiff of coal and the blast of her steam whistle adding a true authenticity to the experience. A highlight of the journey is heading down to the boiler room area, where you can watch the stoker in action feeding coal into the furnace. Along the way, you'll also be rewarded with spectacular views over the lake toward the surrounding mountains, as well as the attractive shoreline settling around Queenstown. Those travelling with kids may also wish to add the Walter Peak High Country Farm option to your trip, which includes a stopover and a tour of a working farm. Lunch and dinner cruise options are also available. And finally, at number one, Lake Wakatipu. Queenstown lies on the shores of this distinctively Z-shaped lake that is hemmed in by high hills and covers an area of 293 square kilometers. According to local Maon legend, Lake Wakatipu came into being when the monster Matau was burnt to death and his heart is said to still beat at the bottom of the lake, causing the lake water to rise and fall by 10 centimeters every 20 minutes. This is actually due to a tide caused by the lake's odd shape. Europeans first reached the lake in 1853, and during the Otago Gold Rush of the 1860s, around 30 passenger ships plied the waters here, servicing the thousands of gold prospectors in the district. Today, the lake traffic is much more subdued, used by recreational boating, fishing and kayak tours. And there you have the top 10 things to see and do in Queenstown. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.